Okay, good morning. Hope everybody's well. So, uh, what's been going on at Westcroft Koi? So, fish in the quarantine. They come out on Thursday of this week. Obviously, they still have pricks in them, so it still looks green and stuff like that. We've took the nets off these bad boys. Um, good look at these. So, obviously, you can see all these in here now. I, I, to be honest, with you, I preferred it without the nets on because um, I can see better. That water is absolutely crystal clear. I'll be absolutely honest with you, I am more than happy. I'm more than happy, even though some people had their um, had their dead um, pond reactor. So obviously you've heard me about me talking about pond reactor, reactors before and everything else. You can there, you can see it does exactly what it says on the tin. That water is absolutely pucker as a direct result of it. It should speak for itself. I mean, you can even see I've got really crappy shoes on, so you can see that as well. So, I mean, look, just look at that water. That water's mad. So, what I'm using the pond reactor for now is obviously it's done the it's done its ammonia side of it. So basically, all I'm using it for now is I've got black sponges in it, and I'm just using it now as a polisher. That's all I'm using it for. So I bear with me, sir. So I'm just using it as a polisher now, so I'm more than happy without a shadow of a doubt. Um, and fair play to Dave, Dave came over a couple of weeks ago, um, checking things out, making sure they're all right. I've got to be honest, his customer service is second to none. Excuse the noise, obviously it sounds like it's race day today down the Canuck Road. Um, so yeah, so uh, like I said, I'm going to end up waffling on a bit here, to be fair. Um, I'm going to be supporting the Birmingham Coy Society this year. Um, I'm going to be sort of hopefully trying to support them out, support them in a big way. Um, so, and thank you for to Mike from Coy Beginnings um, and Kyle um, for obviously pushing me to rejoin the club. So I haven't got a problem with that. So obviously I'm doing that, and then I'm, I'm sorting club members out as and when I can, um, which. It's something I always wanted to do. I, I, for me, I believe, whether I'm right or whether I'm wrong, being a, I'm, I don't see myself as a koi dealer. I, 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 I don't know what that means. Um, I'm a shop. I'm selfish. That's it. Um, but I haven't got the experience to be what they call a koi dealer. So. You know, what, what I mean by that, I'm not trying to knock myself down, right? I don't know the difference, I genuinely, genuinely do not know the difference. David Coy will tell you, and numerous others, I ain't got a clue between the difference between a shower and a sanker. Even though the facts are there, there are still fish that are absolutely questionable. So a perfect example, I had Tony Barker down here yesterday, and fair play to Tony. Tony is, I don't care what anybody says, he is, Master Sing Sai when it comes to British fish in here. When I say British fish, I mean British koi keeping. So Tony Barker is the ultimate. There's no arguments, there's no debates. And I sat down with him yesterday and went, look, can you give me a true, absolute, 100% definition of a Sanki and Shower? He said, there isn't one. Because things can change. He said, you can have one definition, you can have another definition. He said, I just go by what I believe to be. Dave's exactly the same. So Dave's leopards and stripes, and uh, sorry, leopards and spots and tigers and stripes. Um, me, if it's got a bit of black on its head, I'm going to say it's this. If it's got no black on its head, I'm going to say it's that. For me, the, the rhyme that I'm trying to get used to all of the time is um, Sanke is uh, white with black descent. And shower is the other one. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, oh, oh. at the end of the day, I'm here waffling on talking complete and utter crap. But the simple reason is, half of the time, I ain't got a bloody clue. And I haven't. But I enjoy what I'm doing. I do enjoy it. I enjoy the banter. I enjoy the people coming over. Um, and that, I think, is worth more than anything else. Um, I'll be honest at the moment, I think, uh, and there's a few people that have, have said this, um, I'm going to end up being a very, very busy poor man. So I've got to use a little bit of common sense. So what's happening? 
So, we have got a open day on the 23rd and 24th of March, which is next week. Very, very simple. Come over, come and have a look. See what see what Westcroft Coy is all about. Um, if the weather's okay, put a bit of a barbecue while well, I'm going to do a little bit of a growing show. An open day is exactly that. Just come and have a look and see what we've got. It may not, it may not suit your fancy. It may suit your fancy, but at least you know that we're here, and at least you know what we've got. Um, all of the fish that have come in from uh, from Matt, they finish their quarantine on Thursday. Uh, they're looking absolutely stupid. They're beautiful. They are now. Even Tony commented on them yesterday, so for him to say that's got to be something right. Um, I'm going to be putting them out at a decent price as well. And when I say a decent price, I mean a decent price. Um, so they're going to be released on Thursday. So they will be in the sales vats Friday stroke Saturday. I'll say Friday stroke Saturday because it depends what I've got that much to get done between now and then in preparation for everything. Um, growing show. So the growing show is doing reasonably well. We have sold... Um, eight. We sold eight of the twenty, so I think there's still twelve left. I think two have been reserved, so we'll say ten. Um, they are fifty-five pound, um, and then his first prize, which is a ten kilo bag of shore, five kilo bag of shore for second and third kilo, a uh, three three kilo bag of aqua sauce, whichever you want for third. The the fish will start being released from the 23rd and then obviously anyone after that if you want to come and buy one um, you'll come and buy one at the same price you'll get a certificate and you'll participate in that growing show the only difference is between that and then is the 7, the 10 or the 12 that's already been sold now I ain't got it off the top of my head and because I don't edit it what you see is what you get um, them 12 will come out the hat and then it'll be 1 to 12 or 1 to 10 or 1 to 8 or whatever it is and they'll take them in order of which fish that they get. Um, there's two ways that that can be done as well. It can be done because they're going to be certificated, so there'll be a certificate for them. So they can either check about the certificate, match the fish, jobs are good. Or they'll take the fish, match the certificate, again, jobs are good. So that'll start, the actual official timing will start on the 25th of March and run through till the 5th of April 2025. Between now and then, we'd like to see a couple of videos of the fish and how well it's doing. And then what I want to do, I've, I've spoken to Tony, um, and Tony has kindly agreed to do some judging for us, um, as well as the Black Country Boys. Now, the way we're going to do it is we're going to do them blind. What I mean by that is, you'll send a video over, <clears throat> nobody will know what the video is, nobody will know who owns that video. Um, and then they'll pick it based on the videos they're all matched to the certificates and then matched to the winner and then they will have people here again on the 5th of April next year and we'll announce the winner here nice, easy, simple win hand it over try and see if I can get somebody over to come and do the presentation um, maybe one of the councillors from here or something like that to get them involved as well because they like to have their fingers in the poise don't they but you know, I ain't got a problem with that I'm happy with that um, I do want to um, say a massive thank you to um, Chris, uh, councillor, um, from, um, I forgot where I live now, <laughs> can you believe that, I forgot where I live, um, Westcroft, so obviously from Westcroft, so uh, I'll see if I can get Chris out, because obviously he's come out, he's given me as much advice, he gave me the help of what I needed to do and how I needed to do it when I first started. Um, to obviously comply with all the council regulations and all the uh, expectations and blah 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 the usual stuff so I'll take a, uh, the opportunity to thank you um, so yeah so look so I keep waffling on um, so yeah so Grow and Show uh, will start from the 25th that will go through to the 5th of April next year um, so that's a nice easy win um, and then like I said people will come here from next week there's no pressure there's no pressure all I will turn around and say is, look, bear in mind, parking is an issue. Um, you can park on the main road, outside uh, on the main road is an issue. It isn't an issue, should I say. All you just need to do is half on and half off the pavement. There's no yellow uh, markings or anything like that. 
I'm just I'm, I'm worried that we because I've got a shared drive between um, ourselves and our next door neighbours I don't want to upset our next door neighbours uh, that's the last thing I want to do so obviously if they need to have access to get off and they can't some, somebody's block, block a car in I, I don't want to upset them if I can get away with it if, 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 that, if that makes sense um, Davey's doing really well with his pond I think he's got uh, Rob over today doing some modifications to his skimmer so hopefully he'll have a video out later um, Pete's doing well again get over to his channel watch what he's doing he's he's up to his flipping his blocks over on the side now uh, yeah, so he's doing phenomenally well um, Capey's had problems with his van um, which is why he's, he's dropped off the scene and he's had some really shitty luck with his fish um, so he sort of dropped off the scene for a little bit um, but obviously he's going to come back roaring with uh, with a vengeance, especially with all the tea. So listen, if we come out on road trips next year, we're going to have a big cup copy competition. So the one that gets copy the biggest cup of tea, we're going to put a competition on. There you go, you've heard it here. So I'm going to wind him up now, big story, you know what I mean? So uh, yeah, like I said, so enough of me waffling. I haven't really got, like I said, I haven't really got much to, to, to say. Apart from obviously everything's in a mess, so I've got to get everything tight, I've got to get the grass caught, so I've got to get stuff out. If the weather's nice, I'll put a bit of a barbecue on, if the weather's nice. If the weather's not the world's best, then it's not the world's best. I'm taking a chance by doing it in, in March anyway, um, but I want to showcase this place now, because obviously we haven't really advertised much, as, as, you, as you know. We ain't really advertised much, um, and I've been told I need to push a bit harder. Um, Personally, I don't think I need to. Um, I think if, if I'm honest and I'm straightforward and what you see is what you get, I think that should say itself. It, I shouldn't need to do anything, but you know, it's it is what it is. Like I said, I'm talking, I'm talking complete and utter junk now. So I want to take this opportunity to get you. So enjoy the rest of your weekend. Um, like I said, if you want to pop over next weekend, you're more than welcome. Twenty second, twenty third, and twenty fourth, which is the Saturday and the Sunday. If you want to join the WhatsApp group for uh, auctions, that's doing well. It is doing really well, to be fair. Um, so either leave me a comment below or send me an email to westcroftcoy at gmail.com or send uh, Davey one uh, to Davey, Davey Coy or send Pete a message or send me a WhatsApp. You can send me a message by Carrier Pigeon if you want to, but if you want to join it, um, I am doing some pretty decent discounts on there as well to be fair and there's some people turning around and saying they've, they've won a fish in the auction they've got it for reasonably cheap and then they've come in and gone have you sold it at that price? I would have expected to have paid more and it's, like, it's an auction isn't it? so it is where it is but when these Japanese fish start coming out they'll be they'll be at the price um, and the starting price will be the starting price and I ain't moving on it for the simple reason is I'll just lose too much money um, and I'm, you know, at the end of the day, we're a business, and the idea is to make money. That's the whole point of it. Um, so you've got to bear with me with them. So, but please come down. I'm always, always, always willing to do a deal in any shape or form. Um, Google reviews ain't too bad at all. We've had one. I oh, don't ask me why. You give me three. I'll, I'll give you. I'll tell you the story. So we had somebody come out and says he's in trouble. He's struggling. Um, he's um, had a, he's had a pond move. He's got a swimming pool um, and his filter's packed up. So I said, okay, look, I've got a canister filter here. I've got a, a backy shower, a basic backy shower. Take them with you. When you finish with them, bring them back. I'll sterilise them and then we'll put them in the shop. Nice and simple. So look, here's a couple of test kits to test your water. Blah, 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 the usual stuff, okay? So, I think he bought a, a Hannah test kit as well, I think. I don't know, I even gave a good discount on that. <laughs> gave me three stars? I don't, I don't get it, he gave me three stars. So I sent him a message saying, you know, after everything I've done and all you've done, you give me three stars. And yeah, he replied, <laughs> he replied, so. Just goes to show the Google ain't as, Google reviews ain't as good as what they make them out to be. But anyway, I've waffled on the noise, fair enough. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, be safe. I'll speak to you soon.